clear issues. What's the topic we have been treating? Questions that require immediate answer. Last week, Sunday, we talked about two questions. The first one is the question that some Christians prayed and fasted during the just concluded the election that their, their candidate should win. Eventually, uh, their candidate didn't win. And the question came, is it that God is in support of Muslim Muslim ticket and God is not happy that a Christian rule Nigeria? And I answered those, I said, prayer will continue to fail if you don't do the things that is needful. That people pray and don't do what they are supposed to do. And I asked a question on Sunday, how many Christians, how many believers uh, 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 actually voted during the election? In our whole church, we only had 11 people that went to vote. So, if you pray and pray and you don't do what you are supposed to do, you will fail and fail. My monitor is failing. Then we took the second question. That, okay, all those servants of God that prophesied. Obi, Obi, this one says, ah, on the day of, uh, of uh, uh, inauguration, they will just, Obasanjo will just bring soldiers. They will arrest Tinumbu. And when they arrest Tinumbu, they will just hand over to Obi. Obi will become the next president. I told you. And I asked a question, can God give prophecy and it will fail? And I said, no. God cannot give prophecy and fail. Because the Bible says it is impossible for God to, to lie. God cannot lie. And the word of God cannot bounce back. And I told us last week, I said, it's a clear sign that the prophecies prophesied were not from God. Then we ask another question. Where then do prophecies come from? And I said, it's shaking. Prophecies come from Three different sources. Prophecy can come from your mind, your spirit. Prophecy can come from the devil. Prophecy can come from God. And I showed us a prophecy that is from God. How will you know? I said, number one, it will not contradict the Bible. Number two, your spirit man, there will be conf con confirmation in your spirit that this prophecy is from God. That baby is distracting you over there. You are playing with the baby. Concentrate. Don't miss your word. Help me carry. Uh, is that marvelous, Abi? You and your nanny go to that side. Osha, move them to children direction. Take uh, Olowu Senior and um, and uh, uh, Ola Inka to children session. I want your parents to concentrate. If God speaks to you, everything will settle. Everything. And you know those children are very wise. You know we have school. When you are coming, when they are coming with their parents, they'll be crying. The parents will be they'll be crying as if mommy save me from school, save me from school. You just turn back and go. You'll be shocked. The child that was crying, we don't even remember that you came. So, the question we are going to look at today is very technical. Now, and I want your heart to concentrate so that you can be empowered. I don't want you to make the mistake that our fathers in the faith made in Acts of the Apostles. Let's go there. Acts chapter 2, verse 44 and 45. Very, very important. Now, the question I will answer, I will ask, why is it that some Christians find it very difficult to find help when they need it? Some will even say, especially among their fellow believers, some will even say they don't get help from the church. Why? And these people will quote Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 45. 44 and 45. Acts 2 is failing. 44 and 45. Once it is projected on screen, I will want us to stand up and read. Thank you, it is balanced now. Yes. Let's be on our feet, everybody. So we can read together. Well, I must say welcome. After the count of three, I want us to read. It's failing again. Maybe I should get down.
Now, while we are doing that, all the brothers, if you like yourself, you better come for Father's blessing tomorrow. God put eight prophetic words that I want to declare over our men. The King's Men Fellowship said I should pray for all the men. So every male be here tomorrow morning. There's public holiday by 7.30 a.m. I think I'm gone. 7.30. I was studying the family life of Jacob and I saw the eight blessings that Isaac pronounced upon Jacob that has made them today. And I want to pronounce it upon our men. All the men that are here, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will put his blessing upon your life. May you become a positive wonder even to yourself. A positive wonder to your family in the name of Jesus. Now let's read this scripture together after the count of three. One, two, and let's go. And all that believed were together and had all things common. Let's go. And sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men and every man had need as every man had need. Now don't forget, they sold all they had and did what? And parted all the things they had with all men and ministered to everyone in the church that had need. Okay, you, this is your need, take your own. You, this is your need, take your own. You, this is your need, take But don't forget that they all went to sell all that they had. You know, you go and sell your wig. You sell your clothes. You sell all important things. They brought it to the apostles' feet. Have we? And they distributed it. And everybody's need was met. Is that what you want? Sit down. We'll talk this morning. Now, listen. When this question came, the Lord really impressed it in my heart that we should treat it. Now, and I'll be speaking on two things and five points from this, this, uh, this, this topic. Look at that verse 45. Uh, okay, we are, did you take 45? Yes. And all that believed were together and had all things common and sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men and every, as everyone had need. Listen, I wrote here number one. The apostles' decision that made everyone to sell what they had and lay it at the apostles' feet was an error. I will tell you this. Hear me very well. And I want us to learn from it. It was an error because as at that time, the way they saw Jesus and Jesus ascending in Acts chapter 1, they all believed that as he said, the same way you see me going is the same way I will return. So they were thinking that Jesus will come as soon as they expect. But go on look, ah, just to say, Unpadabo, Unpadabo, at least, Atibawa for three and a half years, Ulo training, wa, Tovalo Unpadabo, Kuliparo, Boshelo Unpadabo, Konipe, Jesu, now, that's why I said it was an error. Every one of them started to sell what they had. The one that had cars, sell their cars, they sold their lands, they sold their houses, they sold their properties, they sold everything and they brought the money to church. Now all of them didn't go back home because there was no home to return to. Every one of them were now living in church, they were spending from the money that the properties that was brought, everybody was eating and satisfied, but beloved, what now happened after I took time to study church history. I discovered that 90% of all of them later backslided. Now, they backslided because they felt disappointed that we have sold what I have, but Jesus has not come. I've sold everything. I've given it out. They've used it to meet need. In fact, me to I heard from it, oh, Jesus has not come. What will I return to? That's why I go back and find out. All the churches that Apostle Paul uh, 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 established in all the Ephesian church, Galatian church, Philippian church, all those places now are controlled by Muslims. Even Jerusalem, Jerusalem, there is a battle. The Philistines are saying Jerusalem belongs to us. Israel are saying they belong to us. Do you know that even the Israelites don't believe in Jesus? Who do they serve? they are still holding on the doctrines of Moses. And they are still saying, 
the Messiah have not come. Oshimbo, do you know why? The coming of Jesus was misunderstood. I wrote here, everybody sold what they had and came and sat eating and drinking in the church, waiting for the coming of the Lord. We use the keyboard a bit. Jesus himself did not say, wait for me, doing nothing. Now, our first lesson is in Luke chapter 19, from verse 11 to 13. Jesus himself did not say, you know, while you are waiting for me, don't do anything. No. Jesus did not say, you see, because you are waiting for me, you don't need to buy land. Because you are waiting for me, you don't need to buy a car. Because you are waiting for me, you don't need to exert. Jesus did not say that. But look at what he said to his disciples in parables that so many of them did not get. Luke chapter 19. From verse 11 to verse 13, the Bible says, And as they heard these things, he added and spake a parable, because he was near to Jerusalem. And because they brought, they, sorry, they thought that the kingdom of God should immediately appear. That was what they were thinking, verse 12. He said thereof, a certain noble man went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom. And to return, verse 13, look at verse 13, let's look at 13 together. And he called his ten servants and delivered ten pounds and said unto them, what was his final statement? Occupy till I come. He didn't say, sit down, fold your arms. He didn't say, go and sleep, do nothing. Jesus said, occupy now, listen, he said that parable because the Bible said they thought that the kingdom of God is at hand. He now said to them, occupy till I come. Don't just go and sit down and fold your arms. Don't just go and sell all what you have. Can you see that the church at the apostles' days missed it at the beginning? All of them were selling their lands. That's why he got to a point there was nothing to sell again and there was no enough again. They now needed what to do and Jesus have not come. Then they started backsliding. They lied to us. One long book of my day. Jesus can come today. Jesus may not come in the next 100 years. That's why when they ask him, Master, I will still show you when I get there. When will you return? He didn't give any specific date. Now let's go to my notes. Pay attention to the last statement of Jesus. Our Lord, in verse 13, he said, occupy till I come. What does that mean? It means take charge. He didn't say, he didn't say sell off what you have. He didn't say, sit down there and do nothing. He said, take charge. What does it mean to take charge? Continue to rule and reign. What does it mean to take charge? It means be in control until I come. A child of God should understand that while you are preparing for the coming of Jesus, you must continue to progress with your life. Baba will be said, son, of blessed memory. Pastor, uh, uh, when he was alive, pastor the church, the True Way Gospel Church at Okebola. I was in a meeting with Baba at his very old age. And we're talking. Baba sat down. They were telling us in PFM meeting that a man is coming. He just got a dream. They said he died. He, wake, he woke up. He said, Jesus said he should come and tell the entire church. Everybody should get ready that Jesus is coming before 2020. 20, I think that time he said before 2023, Jesus will come. I'm telling you a story of two or three years ago. That before 2023, Jesus will come. We just discovered that Baba sat down and put his head on the chair like this. Ah, We now said, Daddy, you'll be said, son. Daddy Kilo Shele, ah, only in a Jesum Bok, who nick by the Lokuba me de be. Ah, Muni Daddy could call ye me. Only but he won't tow cable like he go nigbo go be. She won't a rack when he caught day, alone lala, great Jesuma den in nineteen eighty. Only Missy Wawo, quick killer, Buroma Rale, Tijesuma den in nineteen eighty. Ah, she fool my shin come me. And tell you, Bassi Jelle Yang Befo, Jen Fuwo, me Jen, Kima Mura, a father boy Jesu, me only call a left one as soon as Christy. Baba said, The little place where they got, it's not even up to have a plot. Where the church was and it is as at now, you can't drive there. 
Because people have bought the front, they have bought the back, they have bought the center, they have brought, they have bought everywhere to the point that you just need to pass through a corner to get to Baba's church. And I was told that Akala's wife was raised from that church. What did Pastor Prince Will Munisa? Iran Jesu ni kwe de lo koba mi de biti mo dei. I'm not saying you shouldn't prepare. You prepare, but you progress with your life. How do you prepare? You prepare in your heart. You prepare with your life. Look at what Jesus Christ himself said about his coming. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 36. Let me show you. Matthew 24 and verse 36. I want you all to see it. Now we are going to read together after the count of three. One, two, and let's go. But of that day and hour, no man know. Not the angels of heaven, but who? But my father only. Even Jesus himself said, I don't know it. The angels, they don't know it. It's a secret that is only in the hands of the father. You will not imagine the king, you Jesus, you will not imagine I was with Reverend Ame many years ago of Assemblies of God Church. Because when Bunky was coming, we had Bunky of Blessed Memory too. I was the prayer coordinator of the whole Southwest. And the Reverend Ame of Assemblies of God was our chairman. And Reverend Ame said, Pastor Prince, I said, yes, sir. He said, do you know that in Assemblies of God Bible School, there is a coconut tree there? I said, eh. He said, what? telling you the story he said the man that planted the coconut tree was a student he was expelled from the school i said why he said the day he was planting the coconut tree the bible school a coordinator came up and said you you are planting a coconut tree when jesus is coming it means that you are not ready for the coming of jesus you are waiting that you will eat from this coconut tree because of this your mind is corrupt so you are expelled from this school he said pastor prince do you know that that coconut tree is what everyone that attends Assemblies of God Bible School is eating from, from to, till today. What if that man did not plant it those years? Jesu mbo. Jesu ni kwede bo kudisha iti elo wo. So the apostles, they missed it. E de mokin ulu wolo, ulu wolo wo mandu no. A wo yon ti o nisha e shetele. Ki she un tale, kapota moto. All of them sat down, but all of them later backslided. Uh, that's why I'm telling you the truth. Jesus is coming. But listen, he shouldn't stop your education. If you have a degree to pursue, pursue it. Let him meet you doing it. You have masters to pursue, pursue it. Let him meet you doing it. Yes, Jesus is coming. You have a land. And you are saying, Jesus is coming. I'm not going to build. Listen, continue doing what you are doing, but be preparing in your heart. How do you prepare for his coming? You prepare by abstaining from sin and serving him. He may not come till you grow old and die. So that you will not be living your life in regret. Ah. Just like that, Baba. Ah. They said Jesus is coming. I couldn't do it. Ah. Ah, if I know I will have bought this land, I didn't know that Jesus would take long like this. Jesus himself said, even the angels do not know the dates. So all those people that, pre that say they die, they went to a fire. They came back with a date of Jesus' coming. Where did they get it from? I haven't heard about a man in Ondo states. They said in the church, he told all these members, come and pay for your flat in heaven. Everybody was paying 280,000 naira for a flat, a GRA in heaven. Arrest, I think he gave them a date last year, June, that Jesus was coming. Because that date didn't happen, that was why somebody stood up. I want my money back. <laughs> I want my money back. Praise the Lord. Talk to me, here. here. Then what? Let's now go to the next issue. I told you we are going to see, see two things and I will tell, talk about five points. Now, the second issue I want to talk about, I want to, be talk, I want to talk about needs being met. Because a lot of Christians used to say, Pastor, in our church, they don't use to help. I used to hear Christians tell me, in our church, they don't use to help. I approached Dickness Aledari. After all, she said, Dickness in our church. And I added that she said, she's an engineer. I, she refused to help me. 
I approached uh, our, our, our politician. I approached him and he said he's campaigning. He refused to help me. I approached Mrs. Christopher. In fact, I took my child to her school and uh, for her to take the child for free. She refused to assist me. I went to, you know, I, people have said so many things. And you know, they will always refer to these Acts of Apostles, chapter 2, 45 and 46. Let's also look at second point. Beloved, when we talk about the issue of getting help from people in church, the first important thing we should look at from this passage is that there, there is an existing relationship between the people in the church. Listen, do you know that it is wrong for you as a person to try to reap from places you didn't sow, from people you, you were never a blessing to? Such people are not obligated in any way, anyhow, to be a blessing to you. Now look up. You don't meet people first and start presenting your needs. Now, this principle will help you anywhere. When you meet people, the first thing you must build is relationship. Say here. Now, and when you are building relationship, hear me. You don't place a demand on a relationship that your investment in that relationship is not strong enough to draw out. All the people you see in that Acts of the Apostles there, they were Jews. They had relationship with themselves. That's where they could share. Now, if we finish service now, and for instance, Evangelist Christiana doesn't know you, but only sees you in church, and does not have a relationship with you, it will be wrong of you to go and place your need in front of her. Understand that the most important gift that God can give you, apart from life, is relationship. Did you hear me? After life, laying in me, health and other things, the most important gift that God can give you is friendship. Now, if you understand how to handle relationship well, there is nothing in this life you want you can get. But you must understand how to handle relationship. Now, I wrote this story down. I will read it as a story. I don't want to preach it. Then I'll come back to preach the five points I want you to learn from it. Now, open your ears very well and listen to this story. Hmm. I'm looking for where to start from. When we moved into the mission house at Elebu, an elderly man decided to be worshipping in our church. On a faithful day, he came to clean the church premises and met me. When it was true, he requested that I prayed with him, which he appreciated, and later came back with a very big purple. He asked me who I was, and in return I said to him I was the senior pastor of the church. Since then, he would bring bananas, purple, plantain, or at times, mangoes. This he did severally. Then I asked him where he got it from. And he said from the garden in his home. Few years later, not few hours later, few years later, I got a call from his wife around 4 a.m., on a Sunday morning that this elderly man was at the point of death and a car was needed to convey him to the hospital. With my wife's permission, I stood up, got a sum of 50,000 naira, put in my pocket and I and my security man stood up and headed for his house. Getting there, we discovered 
that he could neither walk nor talk because he was in a partial coma situation. My security man carried him and I drove speedily to the nearest health center. But we were referred to a specialist. On getting there, he told us, the specialist told us that to save the elderly man's life, an emergency procedure was required since it was discovered that the elderly man's prostate was enlarged and blocked. And that the sum of 50,000 era was to be deposited for the procedure to take place. The elderly man's life was hanging on that procedure. I quickly dropped the 50,000 naira I took along for the procedure to be carried out, carried out. To our amazement, the elderly man regained his consciousness the moment the procedure was carried out and asked his wife how he got to the hospital. As I and my security man were leaving because I had to get to church that morning, thoughts were just crossing my mind of what would have happened to this elderly man if he did not have any formal relationship with me. He would have just died. He would have died just like that. And somebody would have said he had fulfilled his years. I learned a lot from the experience of this elderly man, part of which I would love to share with you today. If you are clapping, clap. If you don't want to clap, put your hand in your pocket. <laughs> Did you hear that story? My deacon can testify. He's a member of the church. But my lesson from that story is what God wants me to use to teach you something today. I learned a lot that day. I was just driving home with my make -out. And I was thinking. You know, the relationship that, that that man had with me lasted for about four years before that day. And beloved, this is my wife. There was no time that man will not come with one fruit. Ah, daddy, 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 my banana, I say you will eat it. Daddy, my plantain, I say you will eat it. Daddy, my papa is ready, I say you will eat it. Uh, daddy, like my wife, because I want no more shame, I want no to the farm. Uh, daddy, 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 mangoes are, my, the mangoes are my, in my garden. They are. Now, God now taught me something. He said, son, put this in five principles. I've not yet started, don't write anything now. What if that man, because at a level everybody has fenced their house, decides to leave his, uh, uh, what do you call it? Me, myself, and I lifestyle. I don't have a business with the next man. You know, that's, that same event will have happened. If he had called me, I wouldn't have had any reason to attend. Now, apart from that, what if the relationship we had was just casual? The wife wouldn't have had the courage Abby, to call me. Now, they have children abroad. But at the time when he had crisis, there was nothing the children could do because of distance. You know, the first thing the Lord taught me, write this one down. Do you really think you don't have anything you can share? Write it down like a question. Do you really think you don't have anything you can share? Because this is one of the things that is blocking people's ways. You want help, but you have not, not, you have not shown help in any way. Where's Amarachi? Please bring her. 
come with her daddy I love to preach using proofs because a lot of you you need help sincerely speaking but the reason why you are not getting help is because you have not loaded any cloud You are always positioning yourself as somebody that doesn't have. How old is she now? She'll be three by next month. Three? How many years is your marriage now? If a woman doesn't know date, I should slap you. Because if I say four, if you say going to your husband, we say seven. Because we men, we, men don't know date. Four years. They were living where? At uh, Kuala, Delta State. But there was no child in their marriage. And I know the, son, the husband, Brother Francis, is my son, my spiritual son, semi-biological son. Because I didn't I I was part of this marriage from the beginning. So I was asking Francis, you are the first son of your daddy and the only son. What happened? Why is your wife not pregnant? Why was I that concerned? I was that concerned because in their little way, they are a blessing to the ministry. If you are not a worker here, you are not a giver here, from where do you want us to help you? In their little way. All those years, she will be the one. Hey, sir, I will handle anniversary cake. Sir, I will handle anniversary cake. We never paid for anniversary cake before. It was when her tire was flat that God brought lolly bite. And she quickly came back and said, no, 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 my tire is back. So I called her. Kilo Shelly, one and one more. And I have this friend. He's a doctor that specializes in things like infertility. I called him. Past, uh, doctor, my son and his wife. Because Francis has become his son. AY has become my, uh, my daughter. Not by virtue of church member, but by virtue of commitment to my calling. I drove them like this to the doctor's place. When the doctor saw me, he stood up, passed up, killing what money I brought my children. Sir, go back. I will continue from here. This is Marachi today. He took them through a procedure and Amarachi came. Now, do you know that the days when they were investing their seed, they didn't know that they were investing to gain a child? Thank you, man. Thank you. Let me clap for her. That's why you did not dig well. From where do you want to get water? Stop thinking, I don't have. Pastor, you, um, I swear. I swear. I know of one of us like that. Anytime she comes back from the market, I'm not soliciting for help, but I'm only teaching you how to relate, not only here. Anytime she comes, she'll come. Mama, mama, you need the earring. Mama, you need a, 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 a watch. Mama will say, I don't need anything. So when it was time, her son gained admission. I didn't know that the, the money the daddy was expecting to pay didn't meet up on time. The admission had only a few hours to close. How much was the money? 54000 We came to Shiloh like this. And I had that talking with mama. I said, what happened? Come. All the earring that we, are, we, are, we have been using, it is time for you to collect the money. Give us the account of the school. Stop thinking that you don't have what to share. Every time you are doing it like this, God knows I don't get. God knows I don't get. It's because you have not observed yourself well. Look. 
look at where Baba went to collect money for all the purple he was bringing. He collected it at the hospital. You will collect your own in a good place. I didn't hear your amen. What is the excellence of provision? Is it not to meet need? Let me remove Toshuku from there. Keep putting somewhere else. See on point one. Look carefully and you will discover you have something. Stop thinking that you do not have anything that you can share in church. I don't know whether Dickness Alendari can, can, can remember. One of the people working at our church, she's not a staff. They used to come and clean church on Saturdays. They will clean church, they will sweep everywhere. They were now talking that their son is no longer in school. Ah, and I say, Your son is no longer in school. Class, you will lower. When the primary, primary, kilo tewa, no? primary one. I'm on your law school. Talis of whom? Cherry will go in the church, they think back. Time to my go in the office school. The child is there on scholarship. You have something. Don't let the devil deceive you. That's why you will see that if you are not careful, these are the reasons why relationships just die in people's hands. Because relationship requires that you service them. That's why some of you are positioned, you are positioned yourself as a receiver. A minosha mama phone, they must be giving me. I am the one that listen, what happens to the lake? The lake that does not flow into anywhere. It stinks. You must give reason, uh, people reason why they will feel committed to you. No, I didn't know help. No, I help. Oh, what's on here? No, 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 Acts of Apostles, chapter 4. She bound on to that. She, she just will feel it. She bound on your to one, no, she's not with that. You have something. Tell me, neighbor, I have something. I didn't hear you. One queen be low, bow on jaddy. One le posta, bow on jaddy. I don't buy the church, bow on dasi. What's one day, you bow on shit? What did that Baba have that he was giving? He didn't have money. He has papa. He has mango. He has plantain. No, I don't think he has only himself. His banana. Ask my dick. Did you know that because of that event, the wife of that Baba left their church, joined our church? I'm very committed evangelist. That woman. She lot on Lara is want to take one moon, Elia, when you're calculated. When in that year, I want him to invite my church, me, one lady, and you came to love one. The Luba told so part to think for the duty one, tea, to rather. What do you have? What are you using to service your relationships? I want to mock one blessing. She birthday. There's nothing that you can say. Okay, let me even do one small, small throw pillow and go and give to that 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 brother that has always been a blessing to my life. All you just know is right number two down. Hmm. You should be willing to use that something you discover you have to bless people around. Number two, you should be willing to use that something you have, sorry, that something you have discovered you have to bless people around. No matter how small. 
Be willing to use that something you have. To bless people around. No matter how small, look at 5,000 men sat down. Jesus said to the disciples, how can we feed them? Ah, the disciples said, sir, even if a bakery, we can't get money to feed these people. What do we have? The Bible says a young boy had five loaves of bread, but he didn't hide it. All. He brought it. 5,000 people want to, want to eat, but I have five loaves. Some people will say, ah, what, will, what will my five loaves do? Let me keep it, Joe. If I give this my five loaves, how will me myself eat? Let me keep it, Joe. But the young man brought his five loaves. My mentor. I don't like calling her my mentor's wife. She's my mentor too. She said there's a woman in their church. I, I mean, I didn't know that a woman that says tomato can attend glass church. I love that woman's courage. You know, some people say, ah, she room lawyer, call church here. The woman says tomato. Her mommy said every month, the woman will come. I have a prophetic seed. Mommy, a jema binupo kere 1,000 naira. That's a prophetic seed every month. She will put it in an envelope and give it to her pastor. And she will pray for her. She said one particular day, she was just driving and she saw her sat down on some things. Then she said, what happened? Ah, he said, mommy, I didn't, uh, nothing. What happened? He said, my, I, my landlord I was owing. I didn't know that they have taken me to court. They've ejected me this morning. Ejected you. Mommy said she sat down and calculated one one thousand naira. This woman has been giving me for three years. That's thirty six thousand. She said she arranged. Let somebody go and pay for a flat. For one year, at least. If I keep thirty six thousand naira for in in my hand for three years with the interest, it is something. But I want to even ask some of you. She uju o kin ti elomi nui kosi e shore fun yori e de loma kanle kumo te ba ni di shoro. She uju o ti ime. Iwe ni we biko abe me kuna no verso eh? O kwezi o kuna. You know the shame. You know do anything for any. If I some of you that used to call me, if I used to wonder, uju o ti ime. Eh, for me pure water ri. Eh, rari charge card for me ri. <laughs> so when they say, "Pastor, I can sell it to Pastor," I can sell it to Pastor. I do lati bono. Kilo fe u miluri yorubani kini wudi wudi elewo tunsa kuma ibolo lo. Because some people don't used to think it, oh, but I brought you to this meeting so that you can think. You know, it's question and answer we are taking throughout this month. Because if it is me, you are maybe to me, Munkon Lori. Wala wa di shelewani, e kwe number, kwe number tani. If a ibe ti e me kwe the, my own, my the way, my own level of uh, reasoning. I can't go to my mentor for counseling without something in my hand. I, I can't do it. Uh, during during mom, mommy's birthday, we are all there. You know, we contributed together. But me, I have this policy. Even if we do general, I would like to do private. So that my money will touch your hand. You will see me that I gave you. All this and uh, go and drop where you cooking work. Me ni ke mashi mashi bubuwa. But let him bubuwa. We mandate me she. 
I now went to drop something for her, and she prayed, Pastor, thank you. She prayed, and I left. And when you want to go, Pastor, you want to see she has sunny. Some of them are not even ashamed to go to mommy and say, Mommy, as soon as I tell you, Pastor, I can't, me on your well. Go and ask Baba Wa. Ah, Yahoo, Mr. Rosiminjoy. He should go boom you. I went to Baba Wa's office. Somebody, we went together. As we he said, Why are you going to get Baba brought out money, gave the other one money, and gave me. I said, No, sir. Me, King Baobu, I don't take money from my senior. Balo mi mi ni mo fun e mo fun e ko le fun mi ni ha so i collected it it was 3000 naira that was there e mi no wa tun wa mu dele mu tun wa so ma wa se e gba o lowo bo i gba o lo be re se bi yo le be re se bi lo pa yin de be ni ni kini Et tu as un peu de temps, 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 e fun mi lo mi o de like e tori pe mi o ki n gba owo lowo iran se olorun to ba ju mi lo baba ti like this ah mo ni tori e ni mo se mu envelope e wa ah 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 he look for the oil ah ah he took the oil he put it in said if a mi oro royan to wa lori mi mo dalu e mo nbo nso se ni august mi ni fun e lojo bo ni august mo nbo i anu asele i didn't go to ask for anything mo ni tori mi o mo is mo ni mi o like nkan to sele ni last time tin mo wa mi le so fun ki yawo mi so se mi gan i want be come what you think king bowo During your sister's wedding, I was part of the officiating minister. I didn't know Bishop just called me that. Pastor, you are from the family church. Since you are from the family church, I said, No, it's only the one. He said, You are from the family church. Is that not where the mother of the bride is? When I said, Yes, sir, come to the altar. Benny Mungbon. I cannot minister here. So my minister said, I should go and take the, the charge. I took charge. When I was now going, they said we should go to the office. The leaders of the church now said they should. Pastor Prince Will is going, let's envelope money. You know what my mentor said? He will never collect it. He said, Oh, Pastor Prince Will. I said, Oh, Pastor Prince Will, come and take. I said, Sir, I just dipped my hand in my pocket. I think I had 3,000 naira there. I just went to put it on his shoe. Sir, for the charge card, sir. For the charge card, sir. And I ran away. Because I had many years ago. Bishop Oedeko said to his father, Ask Bishop Benson in the house, Please, sir, don't give me money. Teach me how to get it. Well, what, what, what did we speak to get into this point? Begin to share what you have. Number three, write it down. You should learn to allow God to touch people for you. Stop trying to touch them by yourself. You should learn to allow God to touch people for you. Some of you have killed relationship because of emergency withdrawal of cash. I can't tell you mature to you to fellow that. thank you is enough 
Not true? Because of some of you people, some people cannot stay in church. I'm about to park a car by a lot day. At my whisper, bigger, bigger, bigger. Commissioner of works now. Who check out about one after that? Shumoke Oshani, Titiloba, and Babaki one. Can you say, sir? Mutimwa contracts cannot do in Latin joy. Mushiri Pia was it. Stop it. The Bible says the hearts of kings, they are in the hands of God. It is only God, like, like a water course, he turns it to wherever he wills. Let God touch people. Let God be the one. Let God be the one. You can't touch people by yourself. Let God touch them for you. All this phone call, phone call, you are making them to cut off from you. One of the rich men, men that I know, a man that really God really blessed, owns a very big hotel. There was a time we were discussing, he said, Pastor Prince, I don't know the problem that I have. I said, what is the problem? He said, people are always calling me for help. He said, they don't know that I have challenge. This is it now that you, I, I, I invited you to come and pray for me. They don't know that I have, I have problem too. At times when the, the man is free, he will just call me. Hello, Pastor, where are you? Are you in the office? If I say yes. He will just come. Two of us will sit here. We may talk for two, three hours. He say, I'm just relieved from the burden of managing hotel. Do you think I don't have need? Somebody that told me that anytime you need anything, just call me. But me, I told myself, it's not God. If I have need, I'll call God. God knows who to touch Somebody was telling me, he said, Pastor, ah, my blood, my own blood. He said, there is this job I prayed for. I told God that if this job will become a reality, I will sponsor Oyin's education. He said, but Pastor, it didn't work. I said, maybe it's not yet time. It's not God. She was thinking, I would say, ah, ah, but yeah, I should pray more. No. What God will do? He's the one that touches the hearts of kings. So stop disturbing people. Or else you see that some great people will not be able to relate with you. Because anytime they see you, they see that you are coming to disturb them. Look at all the years. That... Go to number four. I'm telling you what God taught me. Write this one down. Learn to live within your means so that you will not need to be running unnecessary race. Learn to live within your, your means. Live within your means. So that you don't need to be calling the people. You know, there are some people, God planted them in your life for tomorrow. If you call them today, that relationship may not live till tomorrow. I love that language. Oh, get on here. Live within your means. This is my level part time. With this level, I don't need to call anybody. But some of you are not living within your means. That's why you are becoming overnight beggar. Let's take the last one. I have a child dedication today. Write this number five down. Your future will be decided by the level of kindness you show today. Your future will be decided by the level of kindness you show today. Your future
give up the people about that I pay fifty thousand for. The children called. We want to refund the money. I said no. He said it's not that we don't have it, but we could not reach him at that time. I said no. No, no. Baba deserve more than that. Now a year but twenty bears need to be so what you He started with one papa. And I mean, we can't say anywhere. And to tell you, don't try that to shape your queer, be aware, don't try that to shape, don't discourage it. Why do you? That's why if you have a husband, or a wife that makes himself a blessing. Don't stop him. He's provoking certain graces that you and the children will live to enjoy. I mean, what does your husband used to tell us? He used to tell me, anytime he called me from America to share good news, he said, Papa, give him new. Give him new. Your today's kindness is what will determine your comfort of tomorrow. That doctor that I told you about, that I took uh, Brother Francis and his wife to, what did I do for him? We met him at uh, one hospital. He was at the Ascan Center. And that time, I, t- I took my wife there. And while he did the scan, we started talking. I just, I just saw that the relationship went beyond doctor. I started encouraging him. Do you know I can be bringing people to you? Doctor, you are good. The way you explain. That was, I started with him. When I have issues that I'm to handle spiritually, when I discover that God is saying this is not spiritual, this person needs medical attention. I will call him, doctor, where are you? He said, Pastor, I'm at home. Susan so person is coming. Attend to them. Have you learned something? Are you sure? But you know, learning is not as important as doing. Go and do this thing that I've taught you today. Start from with your neighbors. Make yourself a blessing. Practice it in church. Make yourself a blessing. Benny, I know that it is not the people you show favor to that will show it back. Favor provokes a kind of spirit that can use any source. So that's the end of the message for today. Let's get the baby prepared. <laughs>